All right, let's talk a little bit about the comparable sales approach to appraising. Generally speaking on your exam, you're going to be asked questions concerning how to make adjustments. The way that I learned this is to remember that your subject property is the property you are appraising. You don't know what it's going to sell for, and it obviously hasn't sold, so that property, you cannot make any adjustments to it. What we do is we find comparable properties, which are similar properties in the area that have sold recently. We then make adjustments to the comparable property to make them the same as the subject. Now, the way I learned this when I got my license almost 30 years ago was to make one hand the subject property and the other hand the comp. If the comp is inferior to the subject, then you adjust the price of the comp up. If the comp is superior to the subject, then you would adjust the price of the comp down. The key thing when you're doing it, some people do it with fingers and, and different things, the key thing with this is your subject property doesn't move. If your comp is inferior, you add. If your comp is better, then you subtract. Some people remember the acronym CIA, comp inferior, add, uh, over CBS or, or in addition to CBS, comp is better, subtract. The whole idea is you bring your comparable property in line with your subject property. Never move your subject property. Let's take a look at this question. It says a subject property has four bedrooms and two baths, a two car garage and a professionally landscaped lot. It says a comparable property sold, that's the key is they've always sold, for 218,900. It has a fireplace and three bedrooms. A fireplace is valued at $1,500, a bedroom at 7,000, and professional landscaping at $5,000. The question is, what is the adjusted sales price of the comparable property? So we've got a few adjustments we need to make here. If we take a look, we'll see that the subject has four bedrooms. The comp only has three. So in this case, the comparable is inferior, so we're gonna to have to add. It also says a fireplace, uh, that the comparable property has a fireplace, the subject does not. In this case, the comparable is better, so we're gonna to have to subtract. Then it says that the subject property has a professionally landscaped lot, but the comparable does not. So the comp is inferior, we're gonna to have to add again. So let's take a look at the math on this. Again, comp inferior, add, comp is better, then subtract, CIA, CBS. So the starting price of the comp, the sales price was 218.9. We have to add $7,000 for the bedroom. We have to subtract $1,500 because of the fireplace. The subject property does not have one. And then we have to add $5,000 for the professionally landscaped lot. When we adjust the answer here, the adjusted sales price is 229,400. Now let's take a look again at what we've done. What we've done is we've taken an actual sales price of 218.9. We're comparing that to the subject property, which is different. And what we're doing is we're saying, if that comparable property was the same as the subject, what would it have sold for? So essentially by adding a bedroom, taking off a fireplace, adding a landscape lot, what we've done is we've turned the comparable property into the same or similar to the subject property. Once you make all these adjustments, the adjusted sales price is 229.4.